Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Shop Thursday. Yeah, sitting out here, sipping on that nice warm coffee. Mm. And it's got to be warm today because it's kind of back to temperatures as usual. Uh, come on, it is winter time, right? It's been in the 60s yesterday. Whoa, that's just crazy. So, oh, uh, no, that's not crazy. What's crazy is our scripture passages for this coming Sunday, Transfiguration Sunday, especially when we tomorrow talk about the transfiguration of Jesus up on that mountain where he his whole appearance changes right before James, um, Peter, James, and John. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's goofy. So what do we have going today? Well, as we sit out here drinking our coffee, we have Psalm 99. Wait a minute, you said, we already have a psalm for this week, Psalm 2. Yeah, we got that, but we can also choose Psalm 99 if we prefer to. Why? Well, Psalm 99 is one of the enthronement psalms that we have. And in Book 4 of the Psaltery, there are uh I think there's six of them, six enthronement psalms. They're all in the 90s. And this is Psalm 99, the last one. And they are those psalms that that exalt God as king. God, our Lord God, Yahweh, is king of the universe, king of the whole earth, over all the nations, over all the peoples. Yeah. Uh, and see, and that's a little bit different from what we have from what are called the royal psalms where those were probably spoken at the time that a a king a new king took the throne or it was the anniversary of him taking the throne yeah so those are the royal psalms this is these are enthronement psalms where yahweh is the ultimate king you might say the king of all the nations um yeah let's let's just take a look at this one real quick here the Lord is king. All right. Remember, and whenever in your Bible you see Lord in those uppercase letters, that's Yahweh. Yahweh is king. Let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. Yeah, that's that's pretty powerful stuff. There's a lot of uh, fear and anxiety going on there because uh, what's, what's God up to now? <laughs> and we... Remember our Old Testament reading from um, Exodus chapter 24? Yeah, there was that mountain, Mount Sinai was on fire and, and the people were afraid and they had good reason to be afraid. But the Lord is great in Zion, our psalm continues. He is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. And that's what this enthronement psalm does. It calls on the people of the earth to lift up their praise to God. And there's a little, little thing here. It comes next. Holy is he. Holy is he. We're going to see that in a couple of other verses down. Holy is he. Right after they say, extol the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. At the very, very end. Uh, verse 9 says, extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. So it's almost as if that was a refrain that the people would, would shout out as this celebratory event took place. We're not exactly sure how this fit into um, the worship uh, because these psalms were meant to be like their worship book. And how did it fit in to the different things that the people did? Because uh, a lot of the psalms obviously were used at some of their uh, high festival times or at the, the, the royal psalms, as we mentioned before, for the anniversary of a, a king ascending the throne. But what about these? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, we're not exactly sure, but they are ones that lift up Yahweh, our Lord, as king of all not just the earth but the universe and there's something here that's that's very important that pops up time and time again and it also pops up pops up in the pops up no, pops up in the um royal psalms because the king the earthly king is supposed to carry out the commands of our 
heavenly king, mighty king, lover of justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Uh Aha. Extol the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. So, hey, that's, that's what God is like. That's what our kings are supposed to be like. That is what we are supposed to be like as his people. Loving justice, establishing equity, um, executing judgment and righteousness in the land. And now there's three people who are mentioned here. Moses and Aaron are among his priests. Samuel also was among those who called on his name. Those are three big names coming out of the Old Testament that are revered and people uh, looked at them as being spokesmen for for God himself and and ruling in God's stead for them, speaking for God um, to the people. So perhaps, because it gets into the him speaking to them in the pillar of cloud, all these things that are very similar to what's happening on the uh, Mount of Transfiguration. Uh Uh-huh. You see, there's a lot of uh, things that that cross paths here that are the same. Perhaps that's why it was chosen to be an alternate reading of our psalm for this coming week, Sunday of the Transfiguration of Jesus. All right. Well, it's a great psalm. Read through it. All the other psalms, let me get them right here that are classified as these enthronement psalms be 93 and then 95 through 99 those are the ones that that finish off book four of the psalter well god's blessings be with you as you chill out yep because it's like i said about 40 degrees and it's just supposed to get colder over the rest of this day and tomorrow and really tank out again back down in the teens so yep winter is far from over grab your coffee Mm. warm up and let god bless you in your walk with him this day